What's up guys, I'm BTC, the brand new professional replay viewer is live. I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to use it. The first thing I want to point out is that as of this recording, which is happening just after 4 p.m. Central Time, the anniversary event is still going on. It was supposed to end yesterday, but it's still going on, so if there's any last minute items you want to get, now's your chance. Go because we don't know when they're going to take this down. It could happen at any minute. So if there's something you want, go and grab it now. The main thing I want to talk to you today is how to install and use the brand new Overwatch League replay system. This is that professional viewer that we saw with the World Cup at last year's BlizzCon. This is tied into the brand new replay system that we have on the PTR. Hopefully it gets some improvements and then it gets moved to the live version of the game pretty soon. But here's how you install it. You go to your Battle.net launcher and you click on the Overwatch, then you go to Region and Account. You're gonna change this to the Replay Viewer right here, and it's gonna change the background a little bit. And then you click Install, and it's gonna ask you where you want to install it, and it's gonna show you how much it requires. It's about 20 gigs, so it's a fairly big program that you need to install. Then you just click the Install button, and it's going to start downloading and installing the program. And then when you launch the game, you'll get this screen. It says the Overwatch League viewer is a new feature for watching matches in a new exciting way. Please send us your feedback and comments to help us improve the viewer experience. Now I wanna point out that you can't watch these matches live or even on a short delay. These don't get put into the professional viewer until the following Monday when all of the matches have been completed for the week. So they still want you to go and watch it on Twitch. So let's just pick any one of these matches here. We'll pick this one. We're going to go to View Games. You, then you can pick which one you want. Let's go to the Horizon Lunar Colony. And it's going to load up. And now we can see the entire match. And we have complete control over absolutely everything. So let me see here. I can slow it down. I can speed it up. You can see everybody moving around really fast. This is just using the, the mouse wheel here. Uh, there's a full set of controls that you have in the options. You can change all of this stuff to whatever you want. Let's open this back up and I'm actually gonna pause it right here. You can go, you can go back 20 seconds, you can go forward 20 seconds, and we're gonna pause it again. And then you have the spectate overlay so you can see where all of the different players are. And let's go back here. You can hide that again, you can see this where you can see what all the hotkeys are for the different characters so if you wanted to see lucio for example i'm just going to press f1 here and it's going to take me to lucio's point of view and then f2 is j jonak for the zenyatta this is a really good way of watching these pro players to see what they're doing in a variety of situations so you can see how they react now i realize that most of these pro matches are going to be goats comp but I mean, you still can look at these characters and still get an idea of how they're playing in whatever variety of situations. Now, there's some other stuff as well. We can close that and we can change it to third person view. So now we have a third person of him. And let's start this back up. Go back to him. And it's spacebar that toggles it. So we're gonna press space. And now it has a third person view if you wanna watch that. The third person is more kind of interesting to just kind of watch. But if you're trying to look at what decisions and where they're aiming, like for example, if you wanted to know like how he leads the targets as he's playing Zenyatta, you can see where his crosshair is aimed and you can even slow it down if you want. So like I can see this is where he's aiming. He's already predicting that they're coming through there. So that we know that they're not there, but he doesn't know. So he's making these predictions and he's just attacking because if someone does happen to poke through there, then he's going to be able to land those hits. So he's just kind of anticipating what they're gonna be doing. Now, unfortunately in his case, they ended up poking out right as he was reloading and now he's gonna charge up and he's gonna try to hit the next person that comes through because we saw one person move out so he's expecting that someone else is. Now let me move it back up to normal speed here. And I can then, you know, right click and I can zoom out and I can see where everyone is. And again, I can shut that off if I want to. 
Let's take a quick look at the options. So you have the standard stuff with the mouse sensitivity and moving the camera around. Then you've got all the different spectate players. You've also got the objective camera, spectate, next, previous. You've got the first and second person. There's a bunch of static cameras, but the static camera buttons don't seem to work for some reason. I'm not entirely certain why they don't but for me they just don't work maybe it's because they haven't been set up in the game itself maybe when the match was made i don't know but the static cameras just don't seem to be working maybe it's just a bug uh, then you have showing health bars there's modifying the field of vision moving everything around faster you can increase and decrease the speed of the replay itself i already showed you that you can jump to the start so all those different things and it just lets you have a little bit better control so let's go here we're going to open this up and you can actually just click on them. So let's click on this one right here. We're gonna close, well, let's start playing. And now we can see this character from uh, the first person point of view. And you can see like what's going on. You can watch the ability usage and the management, all that sort of stuff. And again, the decision making. So like he decided to stay up top rather than going down. And it's just a neat tool. If you want to watch the games, this is a cool way to do it where you can watch your favorite character, or it's also a good learning tool. So in either case, there's a bunch of different uses for this new professional viewer. That's how you install it, that's how you control it, and I hope you enjoy it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.